Jim and Steve arrived in country and found that they were two of 20 workers in a people group of 20 million. This presented a problem. So Jim and Steve prayed together and came up with the idea to collaborate. Some workers were welcoming, while others were too busy or afraid. The first meeting consisted of two organizations and three people. Initially, they defined objectives and built trust. Successes were celebrated and challenges were discussed. Over the next few years, each consultation built momentum and more organizations joined. Out of these consultations came a number of collaborative projects. Workers repositioned themselves from their urban dwellings to key rural areas. And even partnered together to share the gospel with their friends. An indigenous church was born. Prayer requests were compiled and churches back home started praying and sending short-term teams. The Creation to Christ story was translated and a set of oral stories recorded. Translation of key terms and cultural concepts were decided upon by local believers. They learned to read and write in their own language for the first time. Ethnomusicologists excited about the partnership came out to help. And songs about Jesus were created for the first time in the local mother tongue. A media team came and produced an evangelistic drama in four of the local languages, which included an animated gospel presentation. As a result, many oral learners heard and understood the gospel. Naturally, there were challenges, but the consultations continued to increase in love and relationship. Global consultations were held and partnerships began in the workers' home countries. National and overseas churches started working together. Local believers forming gospel bands have caught the vision for church planting movements, and church leadership has been placed in the hands of indigenous leaders. What will it take to reach the unreached in your region? On-field collaboration results in greater engagement of churches and workers more resources for evangelism, and growing indigenous leadership. Accomplishing the Great Commission in your area can't be done alone. Collaborate.